We continue talking about data structure in Grasshopper and in this tutorial we're going to review the list item component. You will find this component in the component palettes under sets, list, list item. The list item component allows us to extract a specific item from a list by specifying its index. This component requires three inputs, list, index value, and boolean value to set wrap index to list bounds option. Okay, so now we can connect the output from char sequence component to the list input in the list item component. As you can see, the warning disappeared, so the component works well. I'm going to grab a panel so that we could read the output from the list item component. And the output here is letter A. It's the, it's the item related to the index value 0, and it's the first item on a list. By default, list item component takes index value of 0. We can of course change this value using the panel, number slider or other ways. So let's generate the numerical value using a number slider. Let's double click on canvas and uh, in the panel on our left you can see that our list ranges from 0 to 9. So we can type in these bounds from 0 to 9 and click enter. I'm going to create some space for the number slider. And now we can connect the number slider to the index input in the list item component. Pay attention to the output panel. As I change the index value, so I move the slider, the item changes. So I have B, C, D, E, F, and so on. The wrap index option requires a Boolean value as an input. We can set this value by right clicking on the input and choosing set boolean over here or as we're going to do for for the visual purposes in this tutorial we're going to go under params input and choose boolean toggle so what does this wrap option do in this case we supply to the list item component in this index values ranging from 0 to 9 this range matches the initial item list, which is from A to J. But let's imagine that these components belong to a larger definition and that for some reason indices supplied exceeds the list length of the items. So let me show you what I mean. Let's go and double click on the number slider representing index values. And again, let's double click on the maximum value limit and increase it to 20. Click OK. Let's increase the value to 10. And as soon as I do that, you can see that the list item component shows us a warning. And this is because the initial list doesn't have an item with the represent represented by index 10. So we don't have this item in this list. And in the output panel, you can see we have null. This is because the wrap option is set to false. Let's double click on the Boolean toggle, change it to true. The warning disappeared and the output um, panel shows us the item letter A. 
So what the list item component with the wrap option set to true does, it wraps the values around. So it, um, if it exceeds letter J or number nine, it goes back to the beginning to index zero and the item A, and this is what it takes. And if I go to the uh, index 11 and so on, it goes through the initial list again. The list item component has a zoomable user's interface. So if we zoom in on the capsule enough, you can see this small plus signs. And if I add it uh, on the top, we have index value minus one. I'm going to set number slider to zero so that we have the index input as zero. And then in this case, um, minus one would output the last item on the list. And it's letter J. And then, of course, we can choose to add the plus one output. And in this case, it would be the second item on the list. It would be a letter B. And if we change the index input, then of course, all three uh, output values also changes. So we don't have the last item anymore, but we have the third one, the first one. And uh, if we would have the wrap option turned off or set to false, then in this case, the list item output plus one would be null, would be empty, because in this case, it would exceed the list length of the initial list. One last thing important to mention here, especially because these are the beginner series. So currently list item component outputs three lists. And uh, let's focus on the top one. This list has one item in it and it's letter J. And the uh, letter J is the first item in this list and it has index value zero. Although in the initial list, letter J has index value nine. And this is because the list item component, when extracting an item from the initial list, it creates a new list and thus it assigns new indices to these extracted items. Okay, I think we have covered the list item component. In the next tutorial, we're going to talk about the split list component. I will see you then.